Hey there, it's Patmos and nice of you to join me for another episode of our Ostrif game. So let's get time rolling. And we can see all our crops are growing, our cows are feeding in the pastures. We have nice chickens going on. Ooh, we have two pairs of oxen right now, which is good for plowing. So let's check these, because maybe... Yeah, we got another bull, eight months old. And, ooh, this is the right one. And we have another one, six months old, so in half a year we can get another pair of plows ready, which is nice. And, well, our chicken cops are doing okay. Not many hatchlings yet, but they'll come in time. And, well, we are expanding the village this way. Ooh, the houses. Working on an oil workshop soon to start providing us with the necessary oil, sunflower oil, which we are growing here, sunflowers, this is buckwheat, but right there we have sunflowers. So yeah, that's all interesting. Buckwheat, right here to get sunflower, hemp for clothing, get it with the potatoes. Now right now we don't have any clothing industry yet, we have still a big building queue. As soon as that's done, we will start working on the um, construction for the uh, clothing industry. Sorry, I had some trouble there finding the right words. I'm curious. Yeah, they're building carts right now. All right, that's good. Oh, the first cart is done. And there, and yes, there he goes. He started to work, so he'll mine the stone and the limestone start to work with that which is really nice we need another river crossing I'm not sure I don't think so yet but maybe later on we will go there or whatever and I think we need to start to plan a little bit more ahead so for instance do a forestry right here with another carpenter and another clay pit just basically start working on a whole production area right here so if we expand this way and fill everything up with houses that way we will have all the resources close by because right now we really don't so that might be a thing I'm not sure yet but that could be a thing a new family settling in town we have 187 people which is a nice number you can see most of them are quite young slowly getting older one very old and of course as soon as they Pass away. They'll get buried right here. We have three graves in use right now, so we still have plenty free. Hope it stays that way for a long time. And hopefully, at some point, we can actually build a church. We need stone for that. No, we're gathering stone right now, so maybe, maybe too far from now, we can start working on an actual church. You see, because there's a little valley here. I don't think you can easily build houses in there because it's uneven terrain. It doesn't look to a height. That's good. Is that area of thing? Here's a problem, but doesn't appear to be many problems here, which is good. So getting extra wood going there can be a nice thing. Plenty of it now, but they just have to very far if they have to gather the wood and the clay all the way here and then move it to here to start building. So I think we need to set up a second production here. That's what we'll do. So yeah, let's get another forestry going. Should we do that? Well, let me see how is all the other buildings aligned. Align them slightly with this. It'll be good. Alright. So let's set it up just like this. Then we want a clay pit, of course, to go along with it. Wood and clay, right? And I think we can again use an extra smithy, I think. That'll be nice. So yeah, those three buildings will come for two because the clay pit's just down and there it is so that's it I think it'll be fun and of course it provides jobs which is really good, Going quite good. Ooh, we have a messenger from that Kachi well you can buy our charcoal that's good do we want to buy anything from them how much iron do we have only 500 
by another 75, 750 I mean. That'll be nice. How many metal parts do we have? We have enough. I want anything else. We bought Salo. It's gone, so they're used. Let's buy some Salo. We have the money for it anyways. I don't mind. Alright. That's it for now. We don't have anything we want to sell, so but at this point. They're starting to work on the oil work job. That's nice. So hopefully soon they will get the sunflowers in. Then we can start work. Now we don't get too many sunflowers because there's only a little over twelve hundred in this field and because the sowing took quite a while. Probably get like eight hundred or something, I think. Not sure, but that's just what I think. And well if we do, well it's nice we can make sunflower oil from it for our own use. So nice, but kinda nice if we can get a lot more. But for that we will need to expand even further. We will do that. It'll take a little bit of time. Well so they're really using this station area quite well. That's a good thing. Perhaps we can spend some time adding a extra edge. Really like to rest on them. It's a good thing to have plenty. Right here they don't have any benches, which means they have to walk all the way to up there to get to a bench, which they will use. So if you don't get them close by, most time, time I mean production time, them having to walk towards the bench and then home, etc. So I think it's a really good thing if you give them benches close to the house. Which they can sit on, relax on. Someone started to sit right there. So that's really nice. Benches can really do you something. Helping them to rest. Alright, well, that's good. That work is smoothly going on the oil workshop. Some extra charcoal, it's fine. So, we've bought stuff for like 240 coins, and we sell stuff for almost 400, so that's good. We're still making money with these deals, and we get quite a few things we need. And, well, as long as you don't see things pop up, see, there it is, a little pop up. They need water, well, there's plenty of water in the village, so that's not an issue. As long as you don't see those pop up all the time, everything's probably good. Especially food-wise, they get this plate over their head that they don't have enough food. Well, we don't get that, so that's a good thing. We have four hatchlings right there, and five right here, so that's also a thing. And the oil workshop is done. Well, let's put it to work. Jobs. How far along are we? Well, everything. Just June, so that takes some time. Houses. Perhaps at some of these places we need to switch a few things out. So, for instance, let me check. They sell buckwheat, flour, milk, and potato right here. And they sell fish, flour, buckwheat, and potato right here. So, potato, we can get rid of that and switch that out for, for instance, sunflower oil. For that, they can buy that. Just right here, so they don't have to walk too far. Buy all the same stuff. So we'll switch out a few, turn it into sunflower oil. Sunflower there. And flower, flower, flower. They have flour everywhere. They'll probably change this one for milk. So that way they don't have to walk too far to get a variety of dishes. If you only sell like fish in this spot and nowhere else, they will have to walk all that way. That's all just lost time. Always try and mix that out a little bit. Doesn't go that well all the time, but you really get it pretty balanced around your village. Of course, you can always just build an extra market. Just need one buy it, so that's good. Well, fishery doing a good job. We are the boats, though. But they can easily do that, so that's... 
going everything. Not me. Plenty of stone. That's nice. Gather everything. And yet, more houses to be built. I'm going to speed up a bit again. More houses to be built, a well, and then start right here on the production for there. In the meantime, what should we do? Oh, I think we can work on Art Park. And I'll explain in a minute why. Two. Right. Because, well, there's here the resources are, so they have to just walk here, get the cart, and then start moving again with the cart. And now, if someone lives here, they have to build something here, and they just have to walk all the way right there to get a cart. Then walk all the way back to collect the stuff. They're not going to do that. So if I want the carts here, they just have to walk there, grab a cart, get to the clay, then move to where they want to build. So, tricky thing with starting a whole new area of your village uh, that's far away from where all the usual production is like wood and clay you have to build everything again so start with the forestry the clay pit uh, maybe a smithy if you want to but also get the car part car park cart park there etc so that everything is there to get like the cart parking they will still have to walk all that way just to get a cart and they will so make sure you you don't forget many things now one of the things I'm thinking about doing is uh, building a charcoal pile there. But they don't have to walk there all the time. Only the smithy does have to walk. But that's not a real big problem. I don't want to get too many charcoal piles. I'm not going to build extra charcoal piles here. Because they have to only walk every now and then to get a bit. They have three people working there. So that's not really a problem. Big problem is getting all the other stuff in. And well, that'll be fine. I mean, trade center, and they will, they can just get it there, and right there. so that's not a problem. Right, our mills are doing a good job. Let's keep an eye on this because still we have plenty of wheat, plenty of flour, but buckwheat is going quite quickly at this rate, and potatoes as well. So as you can see right now, I don't think we're producing enough food. We need to start producing more food to keep everyone happy. Now we got this extra farm this season, so that'll help. But we probably need to expand a bit more. Make sure that we really have everything. So that's going to be one of the things. If we build extra houses here, we also need to get extra farms going. To really pick a punch with all the production of food. Because, well, 200 villagers, you a lot of food. So maybe I should start working on that. Let's get the farm building going. Because after that, a little bit, just like that. But first, build the farm after that house, then we can get the field going right here. Oh well, I'm not going to do that because the farm has no season. We only need it in February, so we still have time to build that farm. We can't use it anyway. Let's wait with that. How many cows do we have? Well, 13 right there and 13 right here. So, yeah, we get new cows. It's not like you get like 10 cows a year. That's fine. That's pretty realistic. So that's good. We can turn a few into oxen though. And then 10 month old, 3 month old. Look at that. And here we have an 11 month. So yeah, let's set it to as soon as they're ready. Carpenter will pick them up get everything ready. Alright, let's see. What can we get here? Do we need anything for this? No, I don't think so. Can we sell them anything? Oh, not really. So, this is all fine. Yes. Yeah. Well, as soon as we start producing clothes with our hand, we can sell that, which is good. Ah, they're harvesting. Oh, that's good. Plenty of workers. That's a good thing. Chickens are going really well, so we get quite a good flow of eggs. Yeah, they're not collecting any eggs yet, so let's set that up as well. What else do we need? Well, probably sunflower oil. Let's set that up. And sunflower, of course. They can pick everything up. That'll be nice. Anything we forgot? Beef, chicken, meat, dried meat, honey? No. Got. Picking up the eggs now, so that's a good thing. 
All right, that'll work. Plenty of people going harvest. That's very nice. This one will probably be the slowest, but as soon as one of these is done, a lot of those people will come there, so that's fine. They're going pretty fast. Not just because this is speed 3, but so just because they are really know what they're doing. Already done the three. No, I really like it. Every now and then you just have to zoom in a bit, get down there, and then you see how everything looks, how the village looks, and I really like it. I, I don't think this is like the, 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 the best graphics ever, but just for this game and for the feel of it, I think they really nailed it with that. Yeah, I like it. Right, they're coming in. Everything up. It'll all be done. Probably see, yeah, the fewer and fewer workers here because, well, their jobs are done. Everything brought in, good numbers, so that's very nice. And we'll probably see at some point starting these numbers to go up. Yep, yeah, there first is. Let's look at this one, yep, yeah, completely done, so that's good. And there the numbers will go. It's still far away from winter, so that's fine. Ah, we've completed the four. Let's add a few there. That's very nice. Well, all those things are going okay. Yeah, they're working really hard with a lot of people. Not oh, quite a few fields to harvest, but... Yeah, numbers are coming in steadily big numbers here which is really good numbers here as well so as soon as they ship everything over we'll probably can see it here you look like well should we find first buckwheat no we have like 2000 now good well we have like 7000 weed uh, almost 3000 potatoes yeah that looks good have plenty of food. Just I wonder if it's really enough to get us all the way through winter because we are quite large now. But yeah, maybe in the end with the extra farm next season we'll be fine. And otherwise we buy we can buy some stuff. We have plenty of money anyway. But it's good to keep that in mind. You really need a lot of food to provide for all these villagers that you have at a certain point. And we do have a lot of villagers right now, so make sure you expand your food production all the time. And of course, once these are full, we have 14 cows in this one now, 15 in this one. As soon as you reach 20, which is the limit, you can always choose to slaughter a cow every now and then, or a few fools or whatever. And that can really help you get to a point where you um, get extra meat in and stuff, so that's very good as well. Do we have anything to sell? Yes, charcoal, so let's sell that. We don't have to sell buckwheat or anything. Want to buy some stuff? We still have plenty, so that's not to happen. No, we don't really... Oh, we can buy some silo again. I think that's going pretty fast. And use that for extra food. All right. Still making a profit out of these deals, so that's a good... Plenty of silo there, so yeah, that's fine. All right. Appears to be that almost everything is harvested. Just a few, buck a few buckets to get in. And, well, that's nice. That gives a lot of food. I don't see... These cards are fine. Ooh, we have another smithy, which is nice. Can give us extra nails. Let's get people in there. Not enough iron. Well, there's plenty of iron here, so you just have to walk there and collect it. Nope, that's not too far. Other way, we have to build a warehouse. Tell it to get it from the warehouse. Sure, exactly how that works. If they really... Well, right now they, they have to walk quite far. So we have to build a few houses. Then get these guys out and get people close by. That will help. Yep, yeah, get a 
Parts going right there. Like that. Yep, yeah, building the carts. It's going good with the hatchlings. It's full. So I guess we should turn it to zero now because otherwise we get too many chickens. Yeah, one grew, so 19 to 11. Don't want to have too many hatchlings. And water reserves are fine. So no need to worry about that. We got the extra plow in, which is good. Let's see, can we get another one? We have a three month old bull, so that takes a long time. And one six and four month old. Yeah, it takes at least eight months to get another plow. Once we do, that'll be good. Are they bringing in all the extras? Not yet. Still, we're getting sunflower oil in. So very nice. Up there. Well, farms will stop producing now, and the fisheries will stop producing. Too long from now, but the extra farm is getting done, which is nice. That'll help us get some extra next season. Now, let's start building a few extra houses here. Turn that around, of course. Right here we go. some fields. I'm thinking about getting big fields again. So I'm going to try and make max out the field. Which is basically 50 feet. Let's see if we can. I think it's kind of nice that they added limitations to it, because if they didn't, then probably you end up like with six people, one farm, and that I think it's manageable, so that won't really, or you would just make one very big. So it's nice that they limited that. Alright, now we have to think about what to produce. Now I do like sunflower oil, but that doesn't go with mine. And I think we have plenty of weed. Perhaps we can do buckwheat and potato again. Buckwheat, potato, nothing. And nothing. Buckwheat, potato, potato. Nothing. Buckwheat. All right. Well, let's supply for oxen because now I have the time to do that. Let's activate these fields have an extra farm now, everything is set up. All we need now is wait until spring comes again and we can start working. Alright. Well, as you can see, they're using these carts, which is perfect. That's what we want. So let's sure hope they do. Let's see, resource supply. They can use a laborer by cart and apply to all. With a cart, you can get in much more stuff. What are they doing? Also hire laborers by hand. It's fine. Everything is brought in, which is good. A thousand power oil. And well, if they bring all this stuff in, uh, those are good numbers. Right. Don't have to worry about anything, except we need to build clothing industry. So let's work with that. We need a weaver that'll produce textile, and then we need. And 
and after that we need a tailor. Let's start to close from the next town. Now he can go a little bit more to the city center because that's the thing I want to sell. So yeah, let's move it. Facing something like this. I think. Down there, I don't mind. It's close to the trade off, so if we sell it to export uh, clothing, they can already set, put it ready in there. So that's why I want it close, so they don't have to walk that far. You can set this one. No, they can't put in hemp. Okay. That's fine. I really want this one to. Well, I think we expanded a bit more. We got the extra farm going. And we so with this one, we are producing sunflower oil now. Soon we will start to produce clothing. And we're working with stone, which is nice. We have a food issue here. Fine. Everywhere. Yeah, that's sold. Good. Alright, so I think the food situation is okay for now. We can do better, and we will in the end, but for now it's okay. Oh, they're bringing in a lot of stuff, which is good. And I think that for now, yeah, everything looks fine. We can work with it. And, yeah, I'm going to end this episode. I had some fun. We're slowly filling the map, as you can see, which is nice. I hope you uh, liked it. If you did, please... Give me a thumbs up to this video, subscribe to my channel, leave any comment you want if you have any questions, tips, tricks, something you want to see, uh, even if you have like some sort of city building game or whatever you want me to play, just let me know, I'll, I'll get into it. And uh, of course I hope to see you in another episode. Bye bye.